Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to identify the loudest peaks in your mix in Reaper. So I have a project in front of me here, and I want to mix it down, and I want to avoid clipping. Let's hear it right now. Wake up to PM. I don't know where we are. Looks like a cheap motel with our clothes on the floor. I don't know. It sounds pretty good. I don't think I'm hearing any clipping, but we should check it by viewing our master track. So go up here to view, choose master track. We can see our master track right here. All of our other tracks flow through this track, making it the final place where our audio goes through. So we should see our level in here on this meter. Wake up to PM, I don't know where we are. But in my situation, I've already added effects to the master track. Right over here, I added a couple of compressors, a limiter, and then a meter so I could see if I have clipping. But if I go to the limiter, we could see with the brick wall ceiling, as long as it's set at zero or below, there's no chance of clipping. As we can see with our meter right here. Wake up to PM. I don't know where we are. Looks like a cheap. It never goes above zero or clips. It can't because the brick wall limiter limits it, so it can't go above zero. But there are situations where you don't want to use a limiter or compressors or anything on your master track. So let's bypass this. And now let's see the meter on our master track. Wake up to PM. I don't know where we are. Looks like Notice it clipped right there. With our clothes on the floor, I don't know how we ended up here. And we've been flying high. Are we going too far? And it clips again right over there. And I'm losing my job. So we still want to avoid that clipping, but we don't want to use a limiter on the master track. And to see this clipping even better, let's go to the file menu, render, and here's the dialog where we're going to render our final files. We can set up a master mix, the entire project, where it's going to go, and the sample format we're going to use. But instead of rendering an actual mix, we can just create a dry run where we can see if there's any clipping in the entire mix. Because without limiting, we're not sure. Hit it, and it renders our mix, but we can see there's some clipping in these spots. It peaks at plus 0.8. That's how much it goes above zero. We have 36 samples that are clipping. So there's a few different ways we can eliminate that. Of course, we could put a limiter on the master bus, but like I said, we don't want to do that. We just want to mix our tracks while avoiding clipping. So we can note, how much above zero our mix goes. It's plus 0.8. So we could do is go to our master track. Let's go to the routing and bring it down by that amount. Negative 0.8. Or just to be safe, we could bring it down a bit more. I like to use negative 0.3 on top of this. So we'll make it negative 1.1. And now our mix is a bit lower but it's not going to clip when we render the file. Let's make another dry run. And we can see we have no clipping. Our headroom is just below zero or negative 0.3, and none of our samples clip. So it's perfect. But there's another way we could do this without reducing our master track. Let's put it back to zero by double clicking and reopen the render window and we could adjust our final mix output right over here under Normalize, Limit, and Fade. Open this up, and right in this window, we could choose to normalize our file, which will remove any clipping. Let's choose to normalize it and change this to either peak or true peak. True peak, if you want to be more conservative, but I'm just going to use peak and change this to either zero or a bit below. Like before, I like to give it some headroom, so I'm going to use minus 0.3. So now, with this chosen, 
for render our mix, or just make a dry run, we could see it eliminated the clipping. We still have some headroom and there's no clipping. So after our mix was rendered, it brought the mix down to avoid any clipping. So this is another great way to avoid clipping if you don't want to limit your mix or put a limiter on the master track. What we could also do is find the loudest peaks in our mix and just bring them down. So let's close this and remove the normalization and create a dry run of our render again. And we could see our clipping is back. But we could find the points in our mix where it clips. If we go down here to stats and charts, we could choose to jump to the first clip position in the project or the loudest sample position in the project. If we want to do this one by one, let's start with the first one. And it puts our cursor to the first section that's clipping. We can zoom in and find the track that's clipping. We could split it and bring it down a bit and reopen the render window and create a dry run again. And now we could see there's no clipping over here, but there's still some over here. So we can go to the next one and fix them one by one or find the loudest position and work down from there. Choose that, close this, zoom in to this spot, split it. We could also do this with automation, bring the volume down on certain tracks or all the tracks to avoid some clipping. Go back to the render window, create another dry run, and we could see we reduced more of the clipping. So we could work through each section that clips and bring on the level of the loudest tracks during that section. Although I don't typically do it this way, I tend to use a limiter or just normalize our render. But it's a great way of finding the loudest sections of your mix. Maybe there's one point that's just a bit too loud and you can eliminate that clipping just for that one section without having to normalize or limit the entire mix. So that's pretty much it. That's how to identify the loudest peaks in your mix in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo boys, let's go. Oh!